She's not what you'd expect. She's tough and feisty, but gentle and tender. She makes millions and gives millions to the poor. She cries, she laughs, she teaches, she comforts. This is The Danny Johnson Show. Welcome to The Danny Johnson Show and Happy Thanksgiving. I don't know what your plans are today, but I really would love to know what they are. I know what we do as a tradition for our family, and maybe what some of our traditions are might be helpful and beneficial for you. You know, here on The Danny Johnson Show, we help you to define what success looks like for you. Everyone has their own definition for success. When you follow somebody else's definition for success, it could lead you into crazy, horrible failure. You know what? For weeks, there's been all kinds of media that's been coming at you, trying to get you to not even take this day, this day that represents gratitude, thanksgiving, a time of coming out of maybe even a suffering, coming out brighter on the other side, a day that was to also celebrate adventure and crossing into new paths, pilgriming new uncharted territory and experiencing new things doing something that was very, very scary when we look back to the beginning of the foundations of the United States of America. It was a very scary thing for these pilgrims to hop on a boat, leave everything that they knew behind, their farms or everything, and come to a place they knew nothing about. But this is what they did, and today we get to celebrate what they did. And so what I've watched happen in the last three decades with Thanksgiving is really quite sad. Don't, I mean, think about it. You've been marketed too heavily for the last few weeks about what's taking place that used to take place tomorrow, but instead it takes place starting tonight. I feel like our culture is being robbed of family time. I feel like our culture is being robbed from a very important cornerstone piece of success, and that is gratitude. I think most of our lives move forward way so fast that we forget to say thank you. We forget to have a heartfelt, sincere, real, authentic, sincere smile on our face and to actually say thank you for what you did. We do a quick, oh, thanks, 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 and that's it. So something that's a tradition in our house, and yes, do we pull out the spread? Oh, man, do we have a spread. Oh, boy, do we have some food. (laughs) Too much food, and we eat it for about a week after it's all done. It's a feast of multiple different types of amazing recipes. And of course, don't forget my world famous $114,000 cheesecake that gets made every Thanksgiving that everyone's always looking forward to, especially me. I can't wait to have that in my mouth tonight. It's going to be amazing. (sighs) You probably want that recipe. But anyway, something that we do is we gather around and we talk about what we are grateful for. Yes, as we're staring at all the feast that is looking at us when it's time to eat, we will have a large number of us in the kitchen holding hands and sharing one by one what we are grateful for. And it's a time of sharing. It's a time of listening. It's a time of conviction. And it's a time of tears for many of us because we look at all that has happened in our lives and even just this year. And we have so much gratitude that fills our hearts. Gratitude is something that you've got to point your mind to. It's not something that comes natural to any of us. In fact, in my personality in particular, a natural born pessimist, a natural born person who always sees things that are wrong, doesn't see things naturally that are right. I've had to teach myself and train my brain to be an encourager and to look for what is right and look for the bright side of things. Um, that maybe has something to do with where I grew up or just the way I was born. Regardless, I refuse to stay in that place. So today, I want to hear from you. What are you grateful for? Do you keep a grateful journal? How has gratitude changed your life? Has it improved anything in your life? What has it done for your business? What has it done for the people that you work with? What has it done for your family? What has it done for your health? We know studies have been done about gratitude and how it can actually help you live healthier and longer, how it helps to reduce your stress, how it improves your sex life, how gratitude actually can help you make more money in the marketplace, can even get you promoted. Everyone loves to be around somebody that is positive and encouraging and thankful. There's no question about it. But I want to hear from you. Enough from me. I want to hear from you about what Thanksgiving means to you and how has gratitude improved your life. First, we're going to go to Colton, California with Karen Marino. Karen, welcome to the Danny Johnson Show. Hi, thank you, Danny. It's definitely a pleasure, and I'm so grateful that I can um, be here on the show with you today. And thank you for allowing me an opportunity to share my heart. For me, um, Thanksgiving is really special. I love spending time with my family. 
but I, I have been in a place for most of my life where even surrounded by family and friends, I always felt alone. Hmm. And this season in my life, I had really had to take a look into my own heart and realize that I was the reason that I felt alone. It was in my own heart. And I was convicted that I needed to truly be grateful for every single person who came into my life and not just see them as someone who's passing through or in my life for mm. me, but to truly be grateful for who each and every one of them were and why they were in my life. Wow. And in doing so, I have found that I am surrounded by people who really do love me and care for me, and it's enabled me to love them back for who they are. And it's improved my business by increasing my clientele because now I truly appreciate them and what they do, no matter how big or small it is. Wow. It's improved my marriage. I'm married with two kids, and I see them flourishing because I truly appreciate them, even when, um, you know, things aren't going right. Exactly. I still am truly grateful for them in my life. And so... It's truly changed my life and turned it around. And um, as a result, I, I no longer suffer from depression for feeling loneliness all the time. Dang, girl, hold on. You've said a mouthful, man. My heart is pounding right now. Karen, what brought you to this revelation? This is wild. Honestly, uh, hearing your um, reaping and sowing, I had to um, take a look at my life and see what was going wrong. And Take I said, if I'm not feeling like I have friends out there, is it because I haven't been a good friend? Yep. And what do I need to do to change that? Wow. And that changed everything. So where did you hear that teaching? I downloaded your ebook, The First Steps to Wealth. Yes. Wow. Oh, my gosh. I am so happy to hear this, and I'm so happy to meet you on the phone. Seriously. So you literally heard about the book. How did you hear about the book? Um, a friend of mine um, who's in business with me told me I should check you out. Hmm. So I got on your Facebook page and saw it and immediately downloaded it and started to read it. Wow. And so that just one nugget inside that book, I, I'm blown away because, you know, people read books and they do nothing with it. But I love that you asked yourself the question, if I feel lonely, if I have no friends and I don't feel loved, who am I loving? Who am I a good friend to? Because you saw that you're in control of how much love that you get to receive based on how much love you give. And it does, it changes everything, Karen. So you went from depressed and battling with depression to being healed, set free and delivered from depression by you taking action with giving what you want to receive. Thanksgiving, <laughs> my favorite holiday, uh, as far as let's say my favorite American holiday is certainly Thanksgiving. Um, because of that, like it changed my life too. It absolutely changed how I viewed my husband. It changed how I viewed my children. It changed how I viewed work. It changed how I viewed my clients. I love that because when people are not grateful for the clients that they have and they're not grateful for the amount of you know revenue that that client brings in, whether it's a small order, or it's a large one, or they give no referrals to get a lot of them, when you treat every single one of them that they are precious to you and that they really matter to you, they feel that. They want to feel that from people. And just as, Karen, you were lonely, you know what you just, like when you said that, I would be around my family and feel lonely? That I just had this huge revelation. That's probably why Black Friday exists. It's because a lot of people probably feel lonely. A lot of people fight with their family. They don't want to see their family. And it's an escape. Shopping is an escape. And people are sitting there on Thanksgiving Day, which is supposed to be a day of no television, but a day surrounded by whether your bloodline or the ones that you've adopted to be your bloodline, talking story, hearing how they're doing, loving on them. Let's play some games. Let's, let's enjoy time with each other. Let's have a glass of wine together. Let's eat till we're full and let's enjoy the, 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 the land, the plenty that came from the land that we're even able to have all this food and, and to be grateful for the fact that we can even buy this food. It's grateful that we have the day off. There's so much to be 
thankful for. But I really do. I wonder if this loneliness that has plagued the nation's families has caused them to easily be enticed into something like Black Friday and to be caring about shopping and can't wait for the stores to be open and lining up for hours or days beforehand to be first in line to to trample over everybody else to get a good deal. Karen, oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you. I am so, so, so proud of you for one, listening to your friend who referred you to our Facebook page too, getting a hold of the book. I didn't even know that, that you were a story out there. I had no idea that when I opened up your line that I would hear what I heard. And I bless you. I am so, so grateful for you. Thanks so much for sharing. We've got Barty from Dallas, Texas. Barty, welcome to the show. How has gratitude changed your life? Oh, my gosh, Danny. First of all, I am so grateful for you. Um, my first event with you, which was March the 8th of 2008. First Steps to Success? Hotel in Dallas. Yeah, First Steps to Success in Dallas, Texas. Yes, First Steps to Success. And you said something that just, you know, profoundly changed my life that, you know, if you had 24 hours, what would you do with it? And about you cannot be grateful and complain at the same time. That's right. And the biggest thing takeaway was to be grateful with the small things. Yes. And you will be made ruler over plenty. Yeah. And since that day, I have used gratitude as the foundation for my business. I own a marketing and branding company. And the things that have happened to me in the past eight years, I have not spent a penny on marketing, advertising, radio, TV, been on talk shows, all these crazy things have happened because I've used gratitude. Yeah. Um, I actually use gratitude with social media, yeah. um, being grateful, saying thank you, making yeah. comments. Mm-hmm. Um, what has happened to me recently has been so insane since First Steps in L.A. Forbes magazine came to me and they said that we want you to write an article, of a PR angle, on how you use gratitude in social media. Wow. And about a year ago, I was in Website Magazine. They wrote a story on me how I've used gratitude with social media. Wow. Now being sponsored by American Airlines, all these crazy things are happening, and it's all because of gratitude. And I believe when you give, you get. Yes. But what I do daily, every morning, is I write the 10 things that I am grateful for. Yeah. I started this April the 4th of this year, and it's become like, so much fun in the game. And I came from a very, very verbally abusive background. Yes. And so Thanksgiving to me is not the greatest holiday yep. for me, but I realized that family doesn't have to be blood. No, it does so, not have to be blood. And I love that we're in control of who we invite into our lives. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more after this. Coming up next, Danny will show you how to use Thanksgiving to supercharge your results for 2016 and beyond. Stay right here for more of The Danny Johnson Show. More resources, more training, more results. The DannyJohnson.com Insider Membership is your ultimate success shortcut. Get exclusive access to reports, videos, audios, ebooks, cheat sheets, and other training for your personal and professional life. This is truly DannyJohnson.com's best kept secret. Become an Insider member today and get on the fast track to success. Imagine living in a decrepit, unsafe hovel made of waste material on top of old mining tunnels that could explode and sink your home at any moment. Imagine no water to drink, no safe place to raise your children, no food for your starving baby. Imagine that your kids can't learn to read because they have to work to support the family instead of going to school. Could you imagine living in that kind of fear and hopelessness? This is exactly what families are dealing with in the poverty-stricken village of Santa Pancha, Nicaragua. These families can barely meet their basic food, water, and housing needs. We are transforming that village. Be a part of this miracle. I want you to go to the website now and learn how you can help. Go to kingsransom.org and click on Santa Pancha. There you can join with other warriors against poverty and help bring a miraculous transformation to Santa Pancha. That's kingsransom.org, kingsransom.org.
Prior to plugging into First Steps to Success, um, I was a depressed, hopeless, suicidal drug addict. I had no vision for my life. I absolutely hated people, hated myself. Uh, I felt shackled by my debt and I had toxic relationships. Um, since plugging in, I've been drug free for almost 18 months. I paid off nearly $14,000 worth of debt in 14 months. I have completely restored my relationships with my friends and my family. Um, I have a vision for my life now and I and I've, I'm actually live and not exist anymore. Um, so I don't know if if you have debt or, or, or not or if your life's going perfectly the way you want it to go, but if not, I highly recommend you get registered today for the next First Steps to Success. Prior to plugging into DannyJohnson.com, we were just lost. We had no hope and light at the end of the tunnel and we were drowning in debt. After coming to First Steps to Success and plugging into DannyJohnson.com, our income has doubled. We have paid off over $76,000 of debt in just 45 months. My husband and my communication skills um, have, have just raised us through the roof, and my husband has cut back his hours, making more income. If you want results like these, you better get to First Steps to Success. I have been plugging into Danny Johnson for the last eight years, believe it or not. And uh, people say, why so long? Well, because there's a lot to do in life. And um, it has changed every area of my life. My, my business has exploded. My spiritual life has been unmatched. And my, my relationship with my wife and my family has just been fantastic. We've paid off over $200,000 of debt in just two years. We're debt free. And I just could not be happy. Happier. But if you want to change any area of your life, whether it's your business, your marriage, your relationship with your kids, um, your financial situation, or getting out of debt, or your spiritual life, I would tell you, you cannot afford to miss First Steps to Success. It's just been a blessing to me and my family. So I really invite you to just get online and get your ticket to the next First Steps to Success. Thank you very much. This is The Danny Johnson Show. You literally can shut success off from your life by not being grateful. You see, the best success book ever written really outlines for us on how to succeed. And one of the most powerful principles that are in there that I've been teaching in the marketplace for 15 years, um, well, actually 25 total, is to be faithful with the little things. Being faithful with the little things makes you ruler over much, much more. Being faithful with the little things means you are grateful for the little things. It means that you celebrate those little things. There's some that I've been teaching at our advanced training seminar called Creating a Dynasty for, gosh, I've been teaching this one particular thing about having a journal, and it's a gratitude journal. We call it a Sprouts journal. You, wouldn't, you would have to understand the whole teaching to understand the Sprouts part of it, but I'll just say gratitude. Um, that's not the fullness of it, but that's part of it. And it's writing down every night before you go to bed and first thing in the morning, 10 things that you are grateful for. It spurs you on with an attitude that know, that causes you to believe and it spurs on hope. And it also opens you up to all kinds of fabulous opportunity and things that can come your way to cause your life to be one that stands out as a light on a hill for all the world to see, just as we were just hearing from Barty from Dallas, Texas. I mean, it is amazing how you can turn your entire life around, regardless of where it is that you come from. I'm going to open up Barty's line one more time. She was beginning to talk about where she came from and being an abusive family um, and that your family doesn't necessarily have to be blood. But Barty, I want to challenge you on something because I come from a family like yours um, where there's been a lot of abuse, a lot of history, a lot of things, a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, a lot of suffering. And there's, it's easy for us to be, to be grateful for our business when our business is flourishing. It's easy for us to be grateful for our health when our health is flourishing. It's easy to be grateful for all the wonderful things that are happening in our life. But we also have to be grateful for all the things that are not great in our life. And you, when, you, when you are grateful for the things that are not good, you're able to see a completely different perspective and the purpose for those things in our life, like the abuse of family members. There's a purpose for that. And there's a purpose with you 
with them. You see, they don't know you as the woman that was called by Forbes. They don't know you as the success you are today. They don't know you as that at all. Who do they know you as? How do they see you, Barty? Think about that. They don't see you as a rip roaring success. They see the failures that you've had. They love to put you down for those failures. So you might think, okay, what purpose does that have? Life is not all just the good stuff. <laughs> Life is a full picture of those that hate us, those that love us. That's life. And I believe for myself that when I get around family that doesn't see me as Danny Johnson, right, the success story that was on Oprah and, you know, Secret Millionaire and blah, 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 the hundreds of television shows, Fox and Friends, and the list goes on, right? They don't, they don't see me as that. In fact, some of them go, Shh, she's too big for her britches now. You know, she thinks higher of herself than she ought to. And you know what? I need that in my life. I'm grateful that I have friends and family members in my life that see me from my past and don't see me in my current. Because it challenges me, A, to love. It challenges me to treat them the way I treat all those people who treat me good. It challenges me to dig deep and to be patient, encouraging, loving, strategically. It encourages me to humble myself and see myself through their scope. It also encourages me to be compassionate on them because I know that out of the mouth, the heart speaks. So I welcome those family members close and abroad who do not see me as the media sees me, but sees me as the human being that they knew me, they've known me my whole life. So that's I'm grateful for that. I love being around them, to be honest with you, because it if I try to exalt myself or put myself on any kind of pedestal looking at my success, looking at my fanfare, looking at my Facebook page, I'm in trouble. I'm in huge trouble. If I think that 350,000 likes on my Facebook page somehow should make me feel good, make me feel successful, I'm in huge trouble enormous trouble. I'm heading for a crash. So I, I really love being around people in places that think I'm absolutely nothing because that really is helpful and beneficial and pulls better out of me than those who speak highly of me. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more after this. Hi, I'm Danny Johnson. The most common question I get usually are from people who are trying to juggle their life. They've got kids. They've got kids who are involved in all kinds of activities. They've got business or their job, finances, trying to get out of debt, plus all their church activities and all the volunteer activities. And they're pulling their hair out going, how do I juggle this all? Man, I once lived just like that until I learned Time Secrets. Time Secrets showed me how to be able to cut my hours from 100 hours a week that I was working down to 20 hours a week and tripled my income as a direct result with what I learned. Time Secrets also showed me how to get my priorities in order, which healed up my marriage. And I became a mother that I want now was proud of versus becoming the mother I didn't want to be. And so if you feel like your world is running around in all kinds of different circles, you can fix that. Call 888-757-8880. Again, 888-757-8880 for Time Secrets. Did you know you can see Danny Johnson live and in person? Go to dannyjohnson.com and find out about our next live event. First steps to success, register today. Call 866-760-8255 or go to dannyjohnson.com forward slash FSTS.
My name is Andres and I'm from Latvia. Prior to plugging into DannyJohnson.com, I was a struggling English teacher back home. I had a language school that I started when I was 21 and uh, had grown it uh, to be pretty okay in my city. But at the same time, I had acquired a debt of $60,000. In a matter of eight to nine months, I got rid of my debt. And by 2011, we had our first million dollar year. This has been amazing. We grew our school from about 100 students to 2,000 students and I can only highly recommend for you to come to the next event and be part of this community and learn the tools that will help you to succeed. Prior to plugging into DannyJohnson.com, my family and I were hemorrhaging under the pressures of debt. Since attending First Steps to Success in January of 2014, my family and I have paid off over $147,000 in 19 months. We're completely consumer debt free. We have restored relationships and our business is growing at a rate of 15% at every event. Your next step is to sign up for the next First Steps to Success and start creating your own story. My name is Jeff Conyers and prior to First Steps to Success, I was a struggling business owner. I had discovered that my business account went negative 5,000 and uh, I feel I realized that I did not have a business plan and I needed to do something fast forward to one year after I have now created um, just by implementing the tools at first up success uh, over fifty thousand dollars created another business improved my personal and business relationships man it's like the story is forever changing and just it just gets better and better I don't know about you or what you're going through but I would highly recommend getting to first up success Prior to plugging into First Steps of Success, we were drowning under a mountain of debt. We were heading to divorce court. We had failing businesses and toxic relationships. Since plugging into First Steps of Success, our marriage has been restored. We have paid off over $56,000 in 11 months. We've helped our community pay off over $300,000 in 14 months. My business has grown in over 600% in four months. And for the first time, I can say I'm just loving life. I have great relationships. So if you are find where you are then this event is not for you but if you're ready to reach your goal and to change your life then I highly recommend that you get registered for the next event hi my name is Jill Kearns I'm from Chicago Illinois prior to coming to first steps to success uh, my husband and I were struggling financially and were uh, hurting um, in our relationship a lot uh, we needed um, more time together and we just were struggling with that because of the finances and so uh, since plugging in we've actually paid off over $280,000 in debt. We are completely debt free. And more than anything else, the look on my husband's face of relief and, um, and excitement about where our future lies and the traveling and the fun, enjoyable times that we'll get to spend together as a family is totally worth it. So if you want to have better relationships with your significant other, your children, if you have a desire to um, to be completely debt free and released from that bondage for whatever reason, uh, whatever the burdens are, your next step is to get to First Steps to Success right now. So prior to getting started to DannyJohnson.com, I was a college dropout. I was working a, a bottom of the barrel type job. I started plugging into her training. Um, I've skyrocketed through the ranks of corporate America. I've tripled my income in the last five years. Uh, that's all fine and Danny, but it wasn't, uh, there's a part of me that had a part missing. So um, I ended up using Danny's prospecting skills and I ended up meeting the love of my life. Uh, since then, we We've paid off $32,000 of debt since October 2014. Uh, so get here, get here now. This is the greatest thing ever. You have to see this. The, the skills and strategies Danny teaches are unbelievable. They totally took someone like me with no education and helped me just like multiply my efforts. So you need to be here. And now, back to The Danny Johnson Show. It's that day where we get to pig out with no guilt. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do that far too often. But this is the day. This is a holiday out of all the American holidays, because I celebrate all the Hebrew holidays. But out of all the American holidays, this is, this is the holiday of holidays for me personally. And I hate that it's being robbed with shopping. I hate that it's being robbed with uh, deals and, yeah that people aren't even showing up and Thanksgiving means nothing anymore. I think it's almost going to disappear at some point. But we've made it a point to make this the chief holiday of holidays. And we've told our married
married children. It's like, listen, you can go spend Christmas with, with the other side of the family. You can go spend, you know, whatever, whatever the other holidays, although I really want them home for Passover. Um, but this is the one holiday that we are going to gather together as a family. And then, you know, then your spouses, they can have you for all those other years. And please think about Passover too. <laughs> Come home for Passover um, because we don't celebrate Easter. It's a pagan holiday, but we do celebrate Passover. But this one is powerful. And why? Because it is a cornerstone. Thanksgiving. Okay. Thanksgiving. Being, uh, having gratitude, having an attitude that is that is grateful is very powerful. I've seen it save marriages. I've seen it save businesses. I've seen it flourish businesses. Just this one little cornerstone ingredient in your character is so powerful that it will raise you up to high levels of leadership. It will help you to be a better parent and a much better spouse. Lord have mercy. This one definitely has helped me be a better spouse. I feel bad for my husband. Um, yeah, and I know he feels bad for me sometimes too, because we have not been always the nicest people to each other. Uh, but oh boy, are we on a we're on a roll right now? Oh gosh, we are on such a roll. We're we're about two hundred days without a single argument. We're keeping track on a calendar. Okay, this is a grateful calendar, by the way. We have a calendar. We started it a year ago, um, and um, starting two hundred days ago, we haven't had a single argument, a single moment of strife, a single moment of tension, not a little spat, not a crossword, nothing like. We have honored each other. We've walked in kindness, in encouragement, and edification rather than records of wrong, being not patient with each other, and not being kind. And so we started keeping this calendar. It's awesome. It literally is a grateful calendar. And every day that we do good, we get an X on that day. And the days where we screw up, we have a little screwed up line in, in the hour of which that we screwed up. And so we haven't had a single squiggly line in 200 days. Oh, my gosh. It's been absolutely glorious. So being grateful is really powerful. How do you be grateful? Be kind, compassionate, edifying, and encouraging. Those, all of those things lump into the gratitude position. Find good in all those around you and good in all the situations that you're in, including the bad, nasty, disgusting ones. So we're going to the phones because we're asking you how, how has gratitude changed your life or are you grateful? And if so, what are you grateful for? We've got Mike from Houston, Texas. Mike, welcome to the show. Good, Danny. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm amazed that I got this opportunity. Um, my story started 49 years ago. I was born with spina bifida. Wow. Grew up on crutches, very active, drove my parents crazy. <laughs> About five years ago, I, because of a bladder surgery, transitioned into the wheelchair, mm. something that I swore for years that I would never do. And um, it's actually afforded me uh, a better lifestyle. Hmm. I was starting to atrophy. My knees were starting to atrophy in my, in my 40s. I was not able to walk the distances. I wasn't able to do the exercise. I wasn't able to be social. I wasn't able to be outdoors like I like to be. This has afforded me a whole, a, a brand new lifestyle and quality of life. Um, I grew up in a verbally abusive household on one side, as, as did you and another guest. Yeah. Um, put down constantly. Yeah, gosh, I can't imagine. I was reminded of what I didn't do and say right, corrected on and on and on. And, you know, I'm, I am grateful for 49 years that our father has given me. Yes. And I've been told many, many times that I inspire people with my attitude. Yes. And it's a very humbling experience. It's very humbling to hear. Mm -hmm. um, I'm on Facebook a lot. Uh, I afford a lot of posts to my Facebook friends list. Mm -hmm. And I, it's, uh, it's amazing when somebody comes back and says, thank you for this, or yeah. um, you blessed me today, or um, I love your posts, or... Mm -hmm. uh, and it's happened as recently as two hours ago, and it, it puts me in tears every time. Yeah. Mike, um, first of all, I I am blown away by what you're saying. I'm so blessed to talk to you. Um, I can't imagine having um, a disability, being a kid born with a disability, and being told by your parents 
what they told you, not doing this right, you know, being condemned. I could not imagine. You see, I, I wasn't born with a disability other than my brain. <laughs> you know? well, I got that too. Yeah. So, I mean, other than my brain disabilities, you know, my reading disabilities and stuff like that. But I can't imagine a handicapped kid being put down like that. That just blows my mind. And then to hear you say that that you fought the wheelchair and you didn't want it. And yet, look, now you've embraced it and that you're grateful. You get to smell the outdoors again. You get to do more things now and be more social and and that you could see that, hey, this was a blessing. This was not a curse. This is a blessing. And and again, you're inspiring me. You're inspiring other people today because many people are born with all their limbs working just fine and they take it for granted and they do nothing with their life. They do absolutely nothing. And they sit in a pile of, of blame and, 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 and resentment and bitterness and unforgiveness and no understanding because they've completely closed themselves up. And then here's you that just said, I'm grateful that my father has given me 49 years on this earth. And that you're using your life to inspire and encourage other people is incredible. We all have something to give. And you have found that something that you can give because something's been given to you and that is life. And you don't take that for granted. I am so grateful to talk to you, to meet you over the airwaves like this. I am so grateful that you took time to call in because I know that this needed to be heard today for people to stop and realize we have so much, and yet we ignore it. We don't value it. And here's the scary part of not valuing what we've been given. We will lose what we don't value. We will lose it. But we, we spur life on in it if we breathe life and speak life and, and are grateful and edifying and encouraging about it. And that way, not just for ourselves, but for others that are around us. Mike, thank you so much for sharing your personal story. Thank you for being pr- transparent. Thank you for being so humble and and telling us about your life. We've got Patty Gale from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Welcome to the show. Hi, Danny. Thank you so much for having me. I truly appreciate it. Wasn't that powerful what Mike was saying? Yes, it really was. Yeah. I'm sitting here just kind of overwhelmed a little bit because it was very, very powerful. And I I truly appreciate him sharing. It was so awesome. Yeah. So what about you? Has gratitude changed your life? How do you use that important element in your day? Well, it's interesting. Um, I have a gratitude journal Mm -hmm. that I use. Um, And over the years, I've been, you know, I've used it on and off Mm -hmm. um, and wasn't really consistent. And then I Myself had a little bit of a health scare at the end of July where I was literally forced to do nothing, like Mm -hmm. absolutely nothing for about seven to 10 days. Mm -hmm. And it really got me thinking about a lot of things. Um, You know, I think it's it's easy to get, be thankful about the big things. Yeah. So I got to thinking, okay, well, what about the little things, you know? Um, So I started, I've always loved paper and journals. So I started a gratitude journal that I've been writing in every day. And even just the little things, you know, like um, before I do anything else, because it just totally sets the tone for my day. You know, things like having a warm blanket, a blanket to keep me warm. You know, when I open up the fridge, I have food, you know, or I can just open up the faucet and I have clean water. Or, you know, when my daughter comes home and says she hasn't had an awesome day at school, you know, she's at school. She's at school. Right. (laughs) Yes. She is getting an education. Um, there are millions of kids all over the globe that do not have that privilege. Isn't that amazing? Exactly. And and for me, you know, like you were saying before, I mean, there's always going to be things that happen. But when I look back and I look at these little things that I'm, you know, there's no matter what's going on. For me, you know, just setting the tone for that day, you know, there's always going to be something to be thankful for. Yeah. And when those big things do come around to be even more blown away with yes. gratitude. And, and I have found personally for me that it has just totally changed my mood yep. for the day, no matter yep. what's coming at me. Yep. Um, whether yep. it be my friends, my family, my business associates, it just totally changes the tone. And yep. 
It's amazing how it gives life and it gives us energy and gives us vision. And I find for myself, it's the little things. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more after this. Have you ever lost everything? When we come back, Danny will show you how to lose everything good in your life and how not to. Stay tuned. This is your chance. This is your shot. Get your copy of War on Debt right now. There's one waiting for you that has your family's name on it. And inside that package is freedom. Your freedom, your family's freedom is on the inside of that package. All you have to do is open it up, press play, and start applying what I teach you in this program. 888-757-8880. You and I are going to help your family become completely debt-free in the next five to seven years. Just imagine how that's going to feel. Did you know you can see Danny Johnson live and in person? Go to dannyjohnson.com and find out about our next live event. First steps to success, register today. Call 866-760-8255 or go to dannyjohnson.com forward slash FSTS. So I just want to give you a little bit of my story. Uh, this is my first time sharing my story on stage, so I'm a little nervous. But I'm excited. I was just asked like seriously three minutes ago to share my story. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> um, so my name, like, like Ray said, my name is Keridan Roundy. I am from Wyoming. Is there anyone else from Wyoming here? Yeah. I was thinking, I'm like, I think I'm the only one that I've met from Wyoming. That's cool. I'm glad. <laughs> um, so prior to plugging into Danny Johnson and First Steps to Success, my husband and I were completely drowning in debt. We got this new job and we increased our income, so we increased our way of living, which is what, what happens. And we were young, we were just married, and we completely bought more than we needed. We bought a new house, we bought, we already had a truck loan, we bought a new car, we just, we lived to the max. And we, started to, our marriage started to struggle, and we got to where all of our fights were about money constantly, and uh, my husband had a really good job, so we had plenty of money. That was not the issue. It was that we never kept any of it. We spent it on stuff we didn't need, so um, just a little bit of background. It's just my husband and I, we have no kids, and we bought a six-bedroom house. <laughs> I know. Well, that's just, we, we had the money. The bank told us we had the money we could, so we did. And so obviously we spent the money to fill those rooms in that house <laughs> on stuff we didn't need. So um, anyways, we just, our marriage was failing. I mean, we were young, we just got married and all of our fights were over stupid stuff that was unnecessary. And so um, I remember one time, just like a, like a quick little look into what it was like. I remember one time sitting in front of our fireplace, our nice fireplace in our nice house, and we were fighting over how we were going to pay for Christmas for our families. And that was the eye opener for us that something had to change. And so we made a decision and um, I started a business and that's what actually opened me up to DannyJohnson.com and to First Steps to Success. And so after coming out of First Steps to Success, we have now been able to pay off, this is crazy, we have now been able to pay off just over $300,000, which is completely crazy because we just thought debt was something that you live with. You know, you, you're always going to have a mortgage, you're always going to have a house payment, you know, car payments. That's just the way life goes. And little did we know that that's not the case. <laughs> um, so we now live in a smaller house. Uh, we love it. We actually, uh, I have less house to clean, which I'm good with. <laughs> and we live so much more simple. And our marriage is completely turned around. We no longer fight about money. We wonder what, where we're gonna invest into next and how soon we're gonna get you know, the mortgage paid off. And, uh, that's exciting to us. So everything's just completely changed. And you know, the relationships that we've been able to to grow with other people that are wondering what we're doing, that's been amazing because we've met so many great people and learning what Danny's gonna teach this afternoon has helped us grow to being people, people, people <laughs> more than anything. And that like we we hated people before, both of us. Like we just we didn't we never had those skills, and so I'm really excited for this afternoon. This afternoon's gonna be completely transforming to you. Um, 
as far as being, like she mentioned this morning, you know, like your business is people, your business isn't your product. And so um, with that being said, I just want to have you help me welcome back my mentor and America's favorite millionaire, Danny Johnson. <laughs> Helping you become all you were meant to be. This is The Danny Johnson Show. I don't know about you, but I have found myself to be one in years past to just take a lot of things for granted. You know, food, my health, transportation, cars, my house. And in my years where I was just, I don't know, it's almost like I was ignoring, I was neglecting giving honor where honor was due, those things started to be taken away from me. You see, in the equation of success, your personal definition of success, not society's definition of success, because let's look at through the scope of what society says success is. It's that new car. It's the new bigger house, right? It's the new clothes. It's the new shoes, the new the new brand name bags. It's it's all the extra trinkets that we get to buy and gadgets we get to buy and all those extra electronics and all the freedom, the places we get to go, right, travel, all that. So they set the bar of what you should be thankful for way up here. So it kind of makes your current house that you're in look like nothing and your current car that you're driving look like nothing and your current job seem like it's useless and your current friends that you don't even want to be around them, right? Because what society sells us to be success causes us to take for granted what we have already. But it's once you lose what you have already that you wished you had not lost it. I remember when I was in a wheelchair. I was paralyzed from the waist down. My body wasn't working. Like my organs inside weren't working that were anywhere from the waist down. It was horrifying. And I remember <laughs> going, wow, I thank God often that my legs work now, where I never thanked them before that my legs worked. I just completely took it for granted that my legs worked. I'm thankful that I can feel because they were paralyzed. I had no feeling at all. Not only could I not walk, but I couldn't feel. And now I can feel. I can feel when my husband rubs my thigh. I can feel that. That's a blessing to feel that. I can feel it when my grandkids run up and hug my legs. I can feel that. Where I couldn't feel that for a couple of months and oh boy, I longed to have that sensation, something so small, something so simple. But that gratitude, that thankfulness gives honor where honor is due. And we got to be careful because people who are grateful are people who get opportunity. There are people who succeed. People who are ungrateful are people who lose. It's really simple. It's Thanksgiving, and we are talking about Thanksgiving truly being thankful. We've got Wayne Meadows from Eugene, Oregon. Beautiful place over there, by the way. Uh, Wayne, what is it that you are grateful for, or how have you used gratitude in your life to help you? Uh, thank you, Danny. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, it's, it's just definitely something that, uh, you know, you kind of get hit in the face with, with some different challenges that mm -hmm. just rocked your world. And, you know, in, in God's word, it says to, to praise Him in all things. Yeah. Well, that's not always easy, but I've, I've had definitely experiences where, you know, I did that, and mm -hmm. I just continued to do that and set aside anything that would hinder me from doing that. Yeah. And, you know, that weight will go away. It's so It'll true. It'll be lifted. Yes. You could shake it off. Yes. It is you know, absolutely when, when, so uh, true. I was going through separation and divorce. Um, that's exactly what I did, and it gave me the the the. It kind of puts you in a place where it can allow you to kind of see things through yes. God's eye. Yes. Yes, absolutely. I know that uh, through trials, through suffering, through pain, whether it's physical pain or it is emotional pain, and I'm so sorry to hear about that ter terrible, terrible, disastrous struggle that you had, but I'm also so very grateful what you learned in it, and that is in all things to praise Him, to be thankful. And you see clearly 
all that he has and is continuously doing for us. And it builds our faith and it gives us hope and it spurs us on with life, which is something that is a gift. But oh boy, it's so easy to put ourselves in a dark place. I'm really proud of you, Wayne, that you didn't allow yourself to stay in a dark place, but instead that you used Thanksgiving to spur you ahead and move you forward. Thanks so much for sharing that incredibly humble story. Uh, we've got Eugene Pratt from Michigan. Eugene, welcome to the show. Good afternoon there. Hi. Glad so, to be with you. Glad to have you with us. So... What about you? How do you use gratitude in your life? What does it bring for you? Gratitude brings, brings a, a great feeling there at mind. Yeah. Uh, it's something that still replace. Yes. It brings a joy in my life yeah. that I can transfer to others. Yes. It's, it's something that, you know, someone did for me, something somebody said to me it's something that is special and it just it just gives me an awe a joy in my heart yes and, uh, I just I pass that gratitude on to others because it's the joy that has been building yes I, I could not agree with you more. You know, it's amazing to me all the things that gratitude brings. It does bring joy. It does bring strength. It does bring hope. It brings faith. It spurs faith on. I believe it brings wisdom, as we were just hearing from Wayne, that he was able to see from a completely different perspective in the midst of the hardest disaster of his life of suffering through a divorce, separation from his wife. I mean, it does. It brings wisdom. It brings understanding. I believe it humbles us. I really do. Being thankful humbles us. And joy. Come on, we know what the best success book ever written says about joy. The joy of the Lord is our strength. What brings that joy is Thanksgiving. So don't just stuff your face with turkey today <laughs> or whatever else it is that you're going to be stuffing your face with. Don't just do that. But do this. Maybe gather the family together and all the friends and everyone that's going to be surrounded at the table. And let it be a time of people, each person, having the chance to be heard about what they are grateful for. And just watch how the faces change. Watch how the hearts begin to be uplifted. Watch the encouragement that's in the air. You can help change a life today, not just with Turkey. And yes, recognizing the, the things we should be thankful for in whatever country it is that you're watching the show from. But even if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, you might be in Australia, you might be in Latvia or Rome watching this program. Regardless, what you can do is you can take this thing of gratitude and you can have it be a, a, a cornerstone in the family or in your office where you work or at your church, if you have one. And, and let it be something that glues everybody together, builds stronger relationships, and helps everyone move through some really difficult and challenging times. Yeah. I think that's probably a really good thing to do today because it's way too easy to live our lives so fast that we do not use this key component that brings us joy, that strengthens us, that brings us wisdom, that helps us to understand things better, that brings us hope, that builds our faith. All of those characteristics are hugely important for you to succeed. So let's start with being thankful. This is Danny Johnson. We will continue with more right after this. Don't go away. The next segment might just change your life. This is The Danny Johnson Show. The whole story of how I went from homeless to millions is right here in this book, First Steps to Wealth. I'd love to give you a free copy of this book. Just dial 888-757-8880. You can get your free copy of this book. It's like a real book, my friend. You can get an ebook copy for free right now, or if you'd like to pay the shipping to get this $15 book to your house, I'd be happy to send it to you. 888-757-8880. Get your copy of First Steps to Wealth today and begin on a brand new path of some great success. 
Imagine living in a decrepit, unsafe hovel made of waste material on top of old mining tunnels that could explode and sink your home at any moment. Imagine no water to drink, no safe place to raise your children, no food for your starving baby. Imagine that your kids can't learn to read because they have to work to support the family instead of going to school. Could you imagine living in that kind of fear and hopelessness? This is exactly what families are dealing with in the poverty-stricken village of Santa Pancha, Nicaragua. These families can barely meet their basic food, water, and housing needs. We are transforming that village. Be a part of this miracle. I want you to go to the website now and learn how you can help. Go to kingsransom.org and click on Santa Pancha. There you can join with other warriors against poverty and help bring a miraculous transformation to Santa Pancha. That's kingsransom.org, kingsransom.org. What multimillionaire do you know that volunteers their time to help ordinary people like you and me? There's only one. This is The Danny Johnson Show. I hope you enjoyed what we talked about today. You need some strength? You need some encouragement? Come on now. You found the solution right here. If you're depressed, if you feel heavy burdened, if you have all kinds of chaos running around all over your life, if you feel like running <laughs> from everything that's in your life, your family, from work, from everything, all the problems, running is not the solution, but starting to be thankful for every little thing right now. This is, by the way, this is the key thing that had me no longer be homeless. I was homeless 25 years ago, coming up here real shortly, right about now, actually, uh, 25 years ago. Um, yeah, I was a pessimist, and I was I was just depressed, and I was blaming and taking no responsibility and condemning, and, and I just had my head so in a dark, dark, dark place that I almost took my life. And it literally what changed is I began to find one thing I could be grateful for. One thing that I had going in my life that was a good thing. And it wasn't even something that I liked. I actually hated the thing. But other people liked the thing. So I was like, that's one good thing. And then I added another the next day. And then I kept adding more things that I was thankful for. It dug me out of a depressing, suicidal uh, spout that I was in. And it helped me to no longer be homeless. So within, yeah, within a week or so, week, 10 days, of uh, changing my attitude. I was in my own apartment. Within a year, I had made my first quarter of a million. By the end of my second year, I made my first million. Okay, so friend, <laughs> now use my business to just take care of the poor. That's what we do, which by the way, a time of Thanksgiving, rather than going out into the marketplace, rather than doing that, rather than going to Black Friday, why don't you take the money and why don't you give to someone who actually needs it? Instead of getting all caught up and trampled in the sales, why not say, you know what? I'm not going. I'm going to spend more time with the family. I'm going to focus more on what I'm thankful for. And yeah, the money that you had set aside to blow, then do this. Go to kingsransom.org right now. And you're like, Danny, I knew you were going to say this. Do it. Come on. Come on. You've got more than enough. Go to kingsransom.org right now. And you've heard about the project we're working on. We're building 1,000 homes for extreme poor people in Central America, meaning they have no home, they have no food, they have no water. Okay, every single day they live by faith. And we are building them a home. Not only a home, but we're putting them in business and we're teaching them agriculture and we're bringing them food that they will grow and that they can sell and that they can feed their family. And so we're teaching them other businesses as well. And we're building schools in each one of these villages that we're building. Come on, what a worthy process. What a worthy cause for you to be a part of and let the whole family be a part of. In fact, challenge everybody at the table today about that. Let's do this together. We're building 1,000 homes. If you go to kingsransom.org, you'll see build a home. We're building 1,000 homes. Click on that. It's right there at the top of the homepage. Click on that. It's going to take you to what we call a page where there's a whole campaign going on. And we're about to close up that campaign uh, and, and restart a whole nother one. You can join us on that adventure. Give a buck, give 10, give a thousand, give a hundred thousand, whatever it is that you got, give it. God bless you. Have an awesome rest of the Thanksgiving holiday. Did you hear that last segment? Do you know someone else who needs to hear it? Go to dannyjohnson.com, find today's show and share it online. This has been The Danny Johnson Show. Join us every weekday at 7 a.m. for more insights that will help you get to the life you've always wanted.